וזהו שאמר רבי אליעזר, and this is what Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Eliezer says, אמרו ישראל לפני הקדוש ברוך הוא, that Israel said in front of the Holy One, blessed be he, רוץ ימנו ליגה בתורה, we desire to toil in Torah, להיוס כי על ידי לימוד התורה ימשיכו בכינס מוכין במידוס, because through the toil in Torah you draw down from the intellect into the emotions, שזהו מי לגדול ונפלא חולו, that this is a great, um, an awesome uh, concept of al ain lanu panai, but we don't have the time for it. So we want to draw down from the intellect as it is essentially into the emotions, because like we said, olam chesed jibana, you have to build the concept of the uh, of, of kindness in order to draw it down to the world. So the study of Torah is the, as the essential intellect on its own that comes before the world. You want to draw that in, into the emotions. To have mochin b'midos, oh, but you don't have time. Uh, but we said they said we didn't have time to do this. If you don't have time to study Torah, the Holy One, the Holy One, blessed be He, says, "Kimu mitzvah tefillin, fulfill the mitzvah tefillin." O mali, mali ani alechem, kilu atem yigein b'Torah yomam v'laila. I'll consider it as if you're toiling in Torah, study day and night. Vainu ki ayde mitzvah tefillin, mamshich im liyos hakadosh baruch hu maniach tefillin kanal. That is. Through the mitzvah of tefillin, we draw down to have the Holy One, Blessed Be He, also put on tefillin like we brought before, the chukah of Mishpat of Yisrael and so forth, Shepir HaShah Kadosh Baruch Hu, who zund that silos, what is the Holy One, Holy One, Blessed Be He? That refers to the masculine and feminine constructs in of, of, of the divine in the world of Atzilos, that you have the HaKadosh, refers, uh, uh, refers to the Holy, the one of the Zeran pin and Baruch who refers to the Nukva that comes down. Shazir Anpinu Kadosh Malchus Baruch that the concept of Zeran pin refers to the the holy and Malchus refers to the concept of Baruch. The holy and blessed. The holy is what is is what is up and removed, and Baruch is what comes down and is, and and is drawn. Kenor the binyan Yomam Valaila. So like Baruch is, is the concept of Lahavrich to 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 draw down Hagefen to to pull down the uh, sapling of of the vine to draw it down into the earth. So the concept of Baruch is to draw down. Like as, as is known, the concept of day and night is also corresponds to these two ideas. What does it mean to study Torah day and night? That's the study Torah. And the attribute of the masculine is the day, and the feminine is the night. And therefore, when they when, um, how did Moshe know what if it was there at night when he was on Har Sinai? When when the Malachim said Kadosh, when they said Holy, Yada Moshe Rabbeinu Al Al Vashalom Bahar Shu Yom Moshe Rabbeinu knew that that it was daytime. Kisha Amru Barach, Kisha Amru Barach. When they said it was nighttime, Yada Shazil Laila, he knew that it was nighttime. But the concept that the Holy One, Blessed Be He, puts on tefillin, is a concept of drawing down the intellect into the, emo into the emotions. Uh, so, yeah, you you have the... the, the that is to the, the say you're drawing down the essential mochin into the midos. Not, you're not just drawing down Mochin of the midos, but you're drawing down the the intellect itself into the emotions. Therefore, the uh, child who has not reached 13 years old yet is not obligated in tefillin because he's not called a man. He only has the the small concept of intellect, not the great concept of intellect. If you want to draw down Torah as it is beyond emotions, you have to have intellect on its own. But when you're, the intellect is small, bekatnus, you only have the intellect as it has connection to emotions. Because there's katnus uh, samochen and gadlu samochen, and in order to be called uh, uh, to draw down from the essential intellect, you have to have gadlu samochen. Rak bihios ben yud gimel v'yom echad shenase ish. Only when a person is thirteen years old, they they become a, a man. Al zali dehanachas tefillin. So 
Then through their putting on tefillin, mamshich liyos hakadosh baruch hu maniach tefillin. That's when you can have this concept of the Holy One, blessed be He, putting on tefillin, which is like we said, the, compared to the study of Torah, which is essentially an essential intellect beyond emotion. So it's found, and the concept of tefillin above is drawing down the essential wisdom, essential intellect. So we also see that this is the same idea as study of Torah. So uh, when when we say Hakadosh Baruch Hu, that Zeram Pina Nukva Maniach Tefillin means to say that it draws down from beyond that idea of Zeram Nukva. You're drawing down the intellect as, as it is essentially uh, beyond Zeram Nukva. Uh, the essential intellect into the emotions and therefore uh, you have the statement fulfill the mitzvah of tefillin fulfill the mitzvah of tefillin and I will consider it as if you are toiling in Torah study day and night that mean to say you are drawing down the, the concept of Torah into the day and into the night malchus what does it mean? As if, because if you would have studied Torah itself, it would have come down into the air of the world. So, uh, the statement is that even though through tefillin, you draw down the intellect into the source and the root of, that creates the world, the, in, the intellect into the emotions, into the Olam Chesed Yibaneh. I'm going to consider it as if you're studying Torah day and night. Uh, that which is um, the tutorial in Torah study to draw down into the, into the day uh, and, and the night, that's the world below that when you study Torah, it's actually drawing it down further and through the, the tefillin, it's uh, uh, as if you're drawing it down um, uh, into, the, into the world below, into the Yom Ambalayla.